Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, Ono Shohei is competing in all Japan tournament, open weight category, so lots of heavy weights of course, and Ono Shohei competing in the 73 kg category. It's a tall task for him, so uh, this is his match at the All Japan, I won't spoil it. He's up against Maida. Maida is a 90kg category competitor, and uh, interestingly, they're both all Sotogari specialists, so uh, it was an interesting match, went the distance, there was a score, but look at the strength here from Maida, just... You usually see Ono Shohei do that to other people in his own weight category, you know, they go down for a Tomoe Nagi or something and he picks them up, but this time Maeda just picking him up straight out of that Tomoe Nagi attempt. So you can see the obvious physical difference. But one thing that I really enjoyed in this contest was just how Ono Shohei dealt with a, a taller, stronger opponent. You see he's, he's not really bending over, he's standing straight and tall, and a lot of people think it's kind of counterintuitive to kind of, you know, stand straight up against a taller person, but actually this is how you do it, this is how you defend against them, and Ono Shohei, he loves that grip under the armpit, using it well to, to break off Maida's top grip, and, you know, he, he looked offensive, he looked, he looked ready to attack throughout the entire match, you'll see what happens shortly, but uh, Maida, Maida also does well against Ono Shohei. I'm not sure if he kind of thought about how to deal with Ono Shohei's particular gripping strategies, but you can see Maida, he, he takes his right arm and uh, holds deep around Ono Shohei's uh, left tricep or left shoulder area, and that kind of nullifies that inside armpit grip that Ono Shohei loves to take. You'll see it here in a second, after this short gripping exchange. So there's that inside grip that Ono Shohei likes, kind of around the armpit, and then Maida just wraps his hand around the shoulder area there, looks for an Uchimata, and Ono Shohei, if he was bent over there, he might have gone over, but because his posture is straight up and down, he was able to defend the Uchimata very well, but defense is one thing, and attacking is another thing, and Ono Shohei, you got to give him respect. I mean, look, look at the attacks that he goes for here, almost gets a score, could have rolled him over potentially for a Wazari, didn't quite get it, but a lovely attack from Ono Shohei. And it's amazing because Maida being a 90kg category fighter and Ono Shohei's taken a top grip, you know, he's not, he's not kind of grip breaking, I don't want to say running a, running away, but using his, his feet to move around his opponent a lot, he's he's doing the tendy way, the tendy style of judo, which is just grip, no grip breaks, let's just go, throw for Ippon, see who gets it, and um, I'm going to do more highlights from this tournament once it's over, it doesn't even finish yet, look at this all Sotogari attempt, so... So strong, you can see Maida just, he had to defend that really, really well. And uh, there's another match I'm going to upload after this, it's Takato versus a much bigger opponent. And that one ended quickly, but uh, we'll upload that, we'll have a look at that as well. And here's the score, Maida getting an Osotogari on Ono Shohei. And Ono Shohei, I think he, he thought about trying to go for a counter. And then he just got in a difficult position, had to roll over in an awkward way, and Maida getting the score. So a minute on the clock, and you can see Anono Shohei's face, he's loving it, you know, this is this is a challenge for him. He, he wants to be in this contest, he wants to fight against these heavy guys on a big stage. This isn't this isn't work for him, this is, this is fun, he didn't have to do this, this is a, a choice he wanted to do, so... Much respect for Ono Shohei stepping up against the big guys and just, you know, looking strong, looking for a throw. Look at this. Looking for the Ashiwaza. Looking for some sort of attack and then going for that Tomoe Nage again. And there's a really nice um, Sodesuri Komigoshi attempt in this last 30 seconds here from Ono Shohei. <laughs> And it would have been incredible if he got it. It would have been really incredible if it was a Wazari. And then they went into golden score and really settled things. But it's nice to see people in attendance and, you know, people ooing and ahhing and clapping and cheering. It's much better when there are people in the arena. 
So here it is here, and you see Ono's not taking his usual grip around the armpit on the sleeve this time. Yeah. And that's kind of an indication that he was going to go for this attack. And he would have loved to get that. that. That was unfortunate. Eight seconds left on the clock. But not enough time here, unfortunately. Although, I mean, it's 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 a good effort. Didn't get thrown for Ippon. You know, made it to the end of the end of the time. Had a good couple of attempts. So an impressive show by Ono Shohei, and of course, I mean, he is a Olympic gold medalist two times. Always impressive to watch. Anyway, guys, here's the final little replay from the Wazadi. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the All Japan Judo Federation channel. They're going to be releasing all the individual matches later on. And uh, they want to grow their channel, so help them out. And help me out as well. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.